Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram and welcome to a floss tube extra. Um, as you can see from the title, today is a Black Needle Society unboxing and it is my first rep box for 2023. I am so excited. Um, I've got it next to me. It has been um, unsealed. The box is, is a little bit worse for wear, um, you know, because Australian Post likes to smash things around um i haven't looked the only thing i've done is open it to pull out the little booklet that you get um and this box is the january box and it's the cozy kitchen stitching box um i have pulled that out um being a rep i do have the I do have a discount code for you all to use and that is stitched by Liz five um, and that's for five percent off in the vault um, there was last time I checked still a couple of uh, garden life stitching which is March's box um, and then shortly the May box which is stitched like a flamingo I actually think it might have already been on sale for subscribers and then any extras will go in the vault but I will share that on Instagram um, if there are any extras that do go in the vault um just a little bit of housekeeping um if you purchased um frog warts i didn't mention this in my regular floss tube as well you will have received a registration email to um pop in your preferences uh, and to join the frog warts year four group make sure you um check your emails for that if you did purchase it um and then if you haven't reached out to the Black Needle Society um, via their email, um, but the group is open for anyone that purchased the year four box and Katie shared a um, spoiler today of like a floss toss with the fabric and it's incredible. Um, I'm so excited for it. I already have my fabric because I'm doing mine all the same on uh, neutral fabric that I dyed myself um, so mine are all going to be savey but mm, that floss toss is incredible and I cannot wait to see it um, so yeah if you signed up for frog warts make sure you join that uh, Facebook group definitely introduce yourself um, everyone in the group is super super lovely all right I'm going to jump into this unboxing um, as I mentioned I did pull out this uh, little little booklet spoiler card um in here there is a note from the lovely ladies at the black needle society and what is currently available for subscribers which is the may box and that stitch like a flamingo there is a spoiler uh spoiler card or spoiler page um and then there is the photo challenge make sure you use the hashtag cozy kitchen stitching bns um if you do any of the photos for the photo challenge for your chance to be chosen for the spotlight um, so these are all November um, photo challenges. I took photos for November and completely forgot to upload them, which, you know, super helpful for me. Um, but we have Lit Stitcher, Lin X, X Stitches Creates, and the Stitchy Zoo Keeper on, um, on January's. All right, I'm going to open the box. And I'm going to grab the first thing that I see because it's right on top. And there are... Wormies in this box too, which I am living for. All right. So the first thing is pancake and waffle mix. So this is by Carrie Lee's Specialties. Whether you're a seasoned chef or baker or a novice who tends to stay away from the kitchen, this mix is super easy to use to create a hot breakfast during a cold winter morning or breakfast for dinner. Now, we're in the summer in Australia. However, you know, our summer's been a bit dodgy. Um, it has been fairly cool. So, Roscoe, let's make some pancakes. <laughs> and by let's make some pancakes, I want to make pancakes. <laughs> maybe, for, maybe for breakfast on Sunday. Mm. Um, they look super, super easy to make. And I have everything in the fridge. Maybe we'll have pancakes for breakfast on Sunday. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. Um... If you have seen an unboxing before, you know what this is. This is the needle minder. You, you don't have to rip it. You can just pop it open. 
so satisfying. Oh, she's heavy. Um, oh my god, I love that. That's so cute. So this is the... Why is this not focus? Whoa, what is happening with my autofocus? Excuse me. What is, what is happening here? Maybe it's my... One moment, let me reposition my light. Oh, now I'm blinded. Let's hope that helps because that was just like... Ah, oh, there we go. Um, so it is the Mix Master Needle Minder. This is designed by the lovely ladies at the Black Needle Society. Uh, it looks like someone has an interesting recipe for a new cross stitch project. Do you create your own color palettes like a Mix Master? And you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but in the bowl, it's skeins of floss. And that, I love that. Also, it looks like a KitchenAid, and I love a KitchenAid. I have a white one. It's amazing. It gets a lot of use. Um, it has a, oh my god, that magnet. Super strong magnet on the back. A little bit violent. Love myself, love me a needle minder. Okay. There is a big something in the box. Oh, I have an itchy nose. But I'm going to grab pillow box. Oh my gosh, my nose. Um, so this, if you have seen an unboxing before, generally holds fancy, fancy floss. She's stuck. Oh, hello friends. All right. So, so this is Scrumptious Specialty Floss. Um, and it's dyed by Fibalicious Yummy Fibers. Um, thread Lickers, we regret to inform you that this floss will not taste as delicious as the name sounds, but they are gorgeous and dyed just for our January stitches. And these are stunning. So this one is called Cinnamon Rolls. Um, and this one is called Baked Apples, which I love. They are stunning. Don't focus on me, camera. They are some stunning, stunning colours. Beautiful. I love that. I don't think, I think that's my first Fibalicious thread also. Um, all right, next up. Ooh. Where are these on my list? Okay. These are early morning stitching wax melts. These are made by the Black Needle Society. Oh, how amazing. You know what? These will go really well in my little owl wax melt thingy from B&S. Um, what's better than waking up to delicious smells wafting from the kitchen? This lemon pound cake scented wax melt is something we wouldn't mind waking up to in the morning and sitting down with a slice and some stitching. Am I going to try to open it? No. Oh my god. That is... I want cake. That is beautiful. Love me some lemon cake. Now I'm going to crave cake for like weeks. Which is probably not a bad thing. Um, Alright, let's... Wow. How cute is it? I love this. So this is... Where am I looking? This is a finishing board made by Stitch Etc. We are so excited to send you this handmade horn book, which can be used to finish this month's pattern. Because of their shape, horn books remind us of breadboards and pizza peels. We thought it would fit perfectly with this month's theme and be an adorable addi addition to your kitchen or home decor. I love this. I don't, we, see, we don't get nice things like this in Australia for finishing. How, how beautiful is it? I love, I love that it's like rustic. Gorgeous. I don't know how to finish things, like flat folds and mounted, but I'm going to give it a shot. I love that. I love that. Um, alright. Ooh. Is this what I think it is? <gasps> it is. Oh my god. This is an apron, and it says, eat, sleep, stitch, 
repeat. <laughs> I love that. I love, absolutely love this. Um, this is designed by Alex Ovisanikov. Sure, I apologize if I butchered that. Um, while you can use this in the kitchen to keep your outfit clean, we also recommend using it while crafting and or finishing your stitching projects. Laura does a fair amount of sewing at home and she always wears a craft apron to keep stray threads from sticking to her outfits. This apron also includes a handy pocket for keeping your crafting tools close by. That is absolutely genius because when I stitch my project bags, I end up covered in like threads and like little fabric off cuts. I, I love this. This is so stinking cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna make this my crafting apron. She's gonna go in a drawer with my next to my sewing machine. I love her. She's brilliant. Amazing. I can't wait. Oh, I'm gonna so use that next time I make a project bag. Hey, I need to make a project bag. Um, alright. Oh, this is cute. This is a stitch and snack reusable bag reusable zip bag sorry this is designed by the lovely ladies at the black needle society whether you want to use this bag for storing stitching accessories or for keeping your snack fresh this bag is perfect to take along on a stitching outing it's reusable and washable and can take the place of a disposable plastic bag i love that oh that's a strong seal too i love that it says <laughs> stitch snack carry on and I love that it looks like a sampler I love that that's cute let's be real I'm gonna use that for stitching things and not food because it's too pretty all right the last two things in the box now I'm gonna pop out I'm gonna do this one first because the last one is super cute so this is the pattern for <coughs> sorry for the box um, and this is Strawberries and Cream by Meridian Designs. Who else needs to go find a Strawberries and Cream cupcake recipe now? We do. But the recipe to stitch up this adorable design was made just for our January stitches. Thank you so much to Karen for creating this for our box. We can't wait to eat. I mean, stitch this adorable pattern. Um, and this does call for a blending filament and two mill hills. But everything else is in DMC. And it's, I love this. I absolutely love this. This is so cute. This is my first Meridian Designs uh, project. And I was trying to figure out where the beads were. It's on the cupcakes and on the strawberries. So cute. I love that. And because I'm not allowed to buy patterns this year, Black Needle Society is, you know, um, filling the need for me to purchase new, new patterns. Um, now, the last thing that I have, I do need to pop open because it's sealed I wonder if these will fit in the eat like a Gilmore binder I'm gonna try that when I finish um all right I'm just all right these are recipe cards um, and these are recipe thread cards, so they are hole punched, so you can use as thread cards if you want. Um, if not, you can just use them as recipe cards. Um, artwork is by Heather Gretton. Um, and it says, thank you so much to our brand new rep team for sharing some of their favorite family and personal recipes with us and our January stitches. We hope you'll enjoy spending some time whipping up a couple of these dishes. We've also had them punched for use as thread cards. So first up is... Chunk and Dump Crockpot Chicken Soup. And this is from Kate Johnson. She is at U2More on Instagram. This one is Chicken Stuffed Shells. Um, and this is from Allison. She's Allycat, Allie.cat.13 on Instagram. Crockpot Pizza. Um, this is from CC Gilmore. They are CC underscore Java Pearl on um on Instagram, but they also have a um, Floss Tube podcast on YouTube. This one is Enchiladas uh, by Jen, 
Um, she is at Stitchy Friends. Um, they have a um, YouTube floss tube uh, account as well. This is Grandma Florence Galati's Fig Cookies, which let's be real, these sound incredible. These are from Lynn, who's Lynn X Stitches Creates. She's on Instagram and YouTube. Um, Nans Pavlova from Miss Chloe. Um, I'll have, uh, I have everyone linked and spelled down below, but miss.chloe.s.w. Um, and she is part of the Fortunate Flossies. Uh, next up is 234 Biscuits by Pippa. Um, she's at pippabrown.sm. Uh, she also has a floss tube as well. Uh, steak Marinade. Uh, and this is from Miss Katie Landis. Um, who, if you all don't know who Katie is, she's the Black Needle Society peeps. Uh, and then we have Mum's Coffee Cake from Laura who is at Pattern Queen 3 on Instagram and she's also 50% of the Pattern Queens on Floss Tube. She's also Katie's mum. Um, and finally, my mama contributed um, to this because I don't have recipes, mum does. Um, so this is my mum's rolled baklava. Um, so I'm Greek, if you all didn't know. Um, I am married to an Italian, so we could have gone any which way with these, but I went with my mum's rolled baklava. So, you know, if you know um, what that is, it is a Greek dessert. It is sweet, sweet as, um, but it's incredible. Um, there's not specific amounts of, on my one, um, like cinnamon, which is one of the biggest spices in there. It's more like put as much as you want. So we generally put quite a bit. Um, but that's because we like it that much. And everything for us is in um, cups and grams because, you know, that's how we measure things. Um, but I love them. I love the way this has turned out. I can't wait to send my mom a photo for her to see, um, to see what it looks like. So I reckon she'd absolutely love it. Um, so that's all I have for this unboxing. I have absolutely adored everything. I cannot wait to stitch that, um, that pattern and then like actually learn how to do a flat fold finish and finish it on that board. I'm so excited for that. Um, I absolutely love the craft apron because, you know, I had, would have never have thought to do that, um, to have an apron for, for crafting. Um, but that's absolutely genius. Um, all right. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Um, once again, if you do want anything from the vault, um, I believe actually all of these things are already in the vault. They went in February 1st. Use the code stitchbyliz5 to get yourself 5% off. Um, let me know down in the comments which one is your favourite from what I've shared today. Um, yeah, I'm going to make pancakes. They're going to be great. <laughs> anyway, do all the YouTube-y things, like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.